What's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? This is how to get big shoulders explained. So first off, sorry for the lateness of the video. Um, I've been a little bit under the weather, but I will get these videos out to you guys weekly, uh, mostly on Thursdays, but this might be a Friday or Saturday one. So first up, we have military press. A couple things to do here. One, you want to warm up, or you have to warm up if you want to save those shoulders. You're going to want to keep the warmth in the muscle, all the blood in the muscle. So keep those layers on, protect those joints from injury. Now a couple tips for this movement. You see me taking in a big breath of air right before I start the movements. And this is really to brace the abdominal wall and it's going to protect your lower back. Another thing with the back guys, if you're doing a shoulder movement, don't scoot your butt up forward. Keep your back and keep your butt against the back of the seat. Um, what that's going to do is keep all the tension on your shoulder and that's what you want from this kind of movement. When you start sliding forward, it's going to put more of that pressure on your chest. Another thing with these pressing movements, uh, you don't want to go all the way up or all the way down. Once you start going past parallel, it's going to put a lot of pressure on your shoulder joint. Uh, to really to work the muscle, you really only have to go parallel. So parallel, almost all the way up, not to a lockout, to make sure you keep all the tension on your front delt and not on the shoulder joint. So next up we have a single arm lateral dumbbell raise. Now a couple cues for this is you want to pull with your elbow, not your wrist. You want to lead with your elbow and you want to keep your elbow above your wrist during the entire movement. Now what that's going to do is keep all the tension on your side delt and during a lateral raise that's really the portion of the shoulder that we are trying to target that we are trying to work. Also on this movement and the movement you're about to see in this superset you don't want to go uh, past parallel because that's going to put unnecessary pressure on the shoulder joint. So come from the bottom and as strict a form as you can come straight to parallel make sure you get a nice squeeze make sure you feel uh, make sure you're going slow enough to feel the tension on the shoulder so we're going to move on to the second portion of the superset which is going to be a leaning lateral plate raise this is also going to hit uh, your side delt now the purpose of this movement when you're leaning over it's going to shorten the range of motion that the plate has to travel for your side delt to contract. So shortening the muscle, it's kind of like a preacher curl for the bicep. I know we talked about this in the last video, but when you're raising your arm up, it's going to shorten the distance the bicep has to pull the weight. So that's really what we're doing with the side delt. You have uh, less distance to travel. You can keep more tension as long as you're not swinging or bringing the weight all the way down. And keep in mind, when you start going heavier on this movement, it is okay to swing a little bit um, and use a little bit of momentum. Now what you want to do for the first uh, couple of reps or as many reps as you can is get as strict of form as possible. That's going to get you the best muscle growth, uh, the best definition. But on those last couple reps, on those what we like to call cheat reps, you can use a little bit of swing, a little bit of motion, just to get that weight up to the top portion of the movement. Because that top portion of the movement is really where you're going to get the squeeze, the contraction, um, the squeeze of the muscle, the shortening of the muscle. And that's where you're going to get the most muscle growth. So it's okay to use that swing to get that weight to the top portion of the movement. And next up we have a single arm dumbbell snatch. Now this is a very very functional movement. Um, not a lot of times in life are you going to go uh, from your side out have to lift anything sideways or uh, lift something straight above your head. Uh, not that you'll be throwing anything with one arm above your head but it really incorporates your entire body and you can get a lot of use out of this movement. It's, it is a full body movement, so it's gonna increase your heart rate, it's gonna get you sweating, it's gonna get that uh, heart and blood pumping, and you're really gonna feel it in your front delt with a little bit of your side delt, just because your side delt 
will act as a stabilizer muscle to keep uh, the weight secure and upright. Now next we have uh, kind of an improvised um, movement that I just decided to do that day. This is going to be a front delt plate raise. Now midway through this clip you're going to see me start to go up and sideways uh, switching back and forth between each arm and the real reason I do this is just to hit the front delt um, from as many different angles as I possibly could and when you're in the gym guys you always want to be thinking how can I make this movement harder on myself how can I make this uh, more challenging for my body it's gonna shock the muscle your body won't be able to adapt to the movements because it's not gonna know what you're gonna throw at it next and it's gonna be forced to grow now next up is another shortening movement I actually don't know anyone else who does this movement so I may just take credit for it what we're doing here is instead of going straight up we're going up and in which is going to give you a better squeeze a better contraction i recommend going a little bit lighter maybe throw this at the end of your workout because when you get to that top portion it may put a little bit of stress on that shoulder joint but if you're going light enough your muscles should be able to take care of the work and you should be all right now the gym did start to get a little crowded so i wasn't able to keep filming so I went back another day to get the last portion of my workout. So what we have now is uh, two rear delt workouts and a couple cues uh, to focus on when you're doing this. You want to be at a forward lean. So we supersetted that with a single arm face pull. Uh, two things to think about with this is again pulling with the elbow and keeping the elbow high to keep the most amount of tension on your rear delt. The second thing you want to think about during this movement is keeping your elbow high the entire time and again that's going to keep the most amount of tension on that rear delt. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything you want me to talk about, let me know in that comment section. I will make a video on it. And I've been working on something really special for you guys. It'll probably be the first YouTube series, so I want to make it really good, really take my time with it, and make something that you guys can really take a lot from, grow from, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. But until then, thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video.